What's goody everybody? Zeus here back with another video. Quick reminder if you do like or watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me and my content. And today we're going to be looking at more IVS. We're going to be looking at day one again. We're going to be finishing that up. We're going to be looking at RD versus GBB. So with that being said, let's not waste any time and get on to the matches. All right, we got round one, first half right here with Lucky Guy Psych, Merc Arrow playing this like, up against an opera on Moonlit with Cord Anti Acro Batter Ban? Yo, Batter getting his one stat right there. What the fuck? A Batter Ban is actually kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I would never have expected that a day in my life if you told me that batter was gonna get banned like genuinely um interesting ban decision but uh shit what you gonna do i guess right and here we have the spawns it's gonna be arrow in between fourth and and um 10 and then we have merc at cypher bridge we have psych in two and then we have lucky guy at first stop with the opera actually spawning at the second stop right there. Um So this comp is interesting. Uh I don't really know what to think cuz uh this is the comp of all time. Um uh, we haven't seen Lucky Guy in a while. Lucky Guy used to be like early opera meta but then fell off shortly. So, I want to see how he's going to work on this comp. Anyway, we have Warp, Detention, Trump Card, Opera, Sui Build, Lucky Guy, Sui Build, Arrow with Tide Windows, and then t Borrow Time, Tide, Merc, and Borrow Time, Windows, Psychologist. So, very intrigued to see how this shit is going to work. And he's going to the Opera, is going straight for the Lucky Guy. We see Psy heading right over there. Uh, Lucky Guy with his little tail on, you know getting chased this is not the best area to get chased by an opera just because the all the shadows are different so oh my god welp welp well oh is there a pause there's a pause editing magic go okay and we are back and uh yeah that was a terror shock is my quality low do i just gotta check that yeah, it is low hold on yeah, there we go. Better quality. Um, yeah, that was a 20-second terror shock, huh? Huh. I bet you sure wish you were a lawyer now. Sure wish you were a lawyer. If you were a lawyer, you could have done that. But you're not a lawyer. You're not him. So now you just die and rot on that chair. And uh, this is probably going to be a win for Psy now. Because you don't just get terror shocked by an opera 20 seconds into the match and come back from that. Uh, maybe against Ripper, you know you can do that, but not against an Opera. <laughs> That's just too much momentum for her. She's just patrolling these ciphers right now. She's not even camping the chair. She knows nobody's gonna go for that shit. That's insane to me. Not even concerned with the chair at all. Nobody's gonna make that rescue either. Yeah, it's just a cell. They have to cipher rush, but they don't have the ciphers to cipher rush. Like, this ha this kite would have to be, like, 30 years, you know? Like, I'd have to have a- I've had to have settled down already, you know? Have a- have a kid and whatnot. Second one on the way. Oh, wow! The push actually did something, but it didn't matter because, you know, Opera just doesn't have cooldowns for whatever reason. Drop down hit. Yeah, this is a loss. Guys, this is- this is a loss. They- they just lose. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna be hopeful. <laughs> they just lose. Uh, kite, first kite terror shock, second kite was short at that, our, um, side just pressuring ciphers, like, it's just, nah. Oh, brother. Alright, Merc coming in for the rescue, overshot the elbow pad, Pearl. Pearl, what are we doing? Why did you overshoot your elbow pad, Pearl? Don't, don't tell me the Merc gets terror shocked on a window or some shit, okay. Alright. Gets the rescue before half, Merc might get doubled? No. Still at five ciphers remaining, by the way. And that's the down on the aeroplanist. Yep. Goodbye, arrow. Oh, uh, they still haven't popped a cipher. They have yet to pop a cipher. Wow.
Opera beating people at 5 ciphers remaining. You'd think you'd only see this shit in ranked. But no. They're still at 5 ciphers remaining. They can't even get a dungeon. Opera sees the Merc. Doesn't matter if Merc gets this rescue. Respects it. Teleport back. You teleport back. Yep. And that's the double down on the Merc. Psych is going to finally pop the first Cypher of the match three minutes in. But uh, it's not going to matter because they still need one entire Cypher. You know, it's a good dungeon. Yeah. Well, I won't say it shouldn't matter because there's one Cypher at 84. So I, they probably do actually get that Cypher, unironically. But um, I just, uh, this is just cooked. Aeroplanist doing his thing, but it doesn't matter because it's an opera singer who can just do that. As you know fun fair and chairing the side si chairing the aeroplane is psych is gonna pop that two-story cypher now so okay dungeon is on the map now and it is is that slide that is slide dungeon being slide is very unfortunate <sighs> as in like very unfortunate extremely unfortunate even because, you know, Opera already knows where the Psyche is at by default since they popped the Cypher at two-story. So, Opera already knows where to check. Well, let's check around the general area. Tonight is Merc is not going to use self heal probably until that uh, until the Psyche gives a hit, maybe. Or at least until he's far away enough from a Cypher to where the Opera cannot TP. Missed the Psyche completely, holy shit. Missed that psychomonologist completely, completely blind. Oh wow. Uh, Merc still has yet to self heal. Are they gonna do the the slug strategy? The survivors. Oh my god, this is gonna be a drag match. Please end it now. All right, sight gets found. Merc just used self heal now. And drops the pallet. This should be a hit now. Yeah, yeah, that's a hit. Merc is not decoding though, so the Opera has no reason to leave yet. But at least now you can just chair the Psych after you know this kite is over with and done for. Yeah, that's uh, that's funny, because you know the Merc is on that side of the map. You you know he is. Yeah. Oh, you not sharing actually. Choosing to just slug her out, I guess. Ah, eh, it is a Merc actually. Yeah, no. Yeah, it is a Merc. Yeah. Silly Zeus, you forgot that it's a Merc. You know the guy with delayed damage. Can't be doing that shit. Um, no, tinnitus. Merc rotating out this opera singer. Uh, he should be getting tinnitus now. He's within it. Yeah, he just got it. He just got it. Did he see it, though? That's the question. He didn't notice that the tinnitus was up for a second. If he did, he would have He would have went right back to Cypher Bridge. Damn. The Merc was so close, but is now still so far. Yeah, if he noticed that tonight is for even a second. Uh, now we're just... Yay, yay, yay. You know, this match shouldn't be lasting as long as it is, but... They're, they're really trying to get this one escape. Okay, he has tonight is now. Merc, you're cooked. That's it, you're found out, Merc. You've been found out, buddy. I said, my brother in Christ, you were found out. <laughs> bruh. 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 Sigh. Please, this is six minutes of my life. What do I commentate over this? Yep, still just looking. Still looking. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Swimming, swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Swimming, swimming. Like, what am I supposed to commentate over this? Oh my god. I couldn't imagine watching this live. I'd lose my mind. Like, I, I think I'd actually lose my mind of boredom. Slugging strategy, teleport, it's been so long that teleport came back up. 
That's how long it's been. Teleport came back up. Okay, tinnitus yet again. Yeah. The earmark is there. Come on, Sai. The earmark. You have the earmark. Okay, finally, finally, finally. Fuck. Uh, uh. Okay, well, what was the point of the watch? You should have watched way earlier. Okay. Now the psych has to use self heal. So, did we go through this? Entire ordeal yet again. I wonder. Because that psych is not going to use self heal until that merc is dead. I hope we're all aware of that. Until that merc is like, I mean, well, okay. Until she's almost dead, more accurately. Because, you know, the psych has already been on the floor long enough. Three minutes. It takes like three and a half minutes for a survivor to get fully slugged out like that. Uh, maybe four. You know, the fact that this match started off so fast and now it's going so slow is like, you know, the irony. It's like the tortoise and the hare kind of shit. The hare started off so fast, but the tortoise went slow and steady and overall outpaced the hare. Wow, she actually just died. Wow. Oh, she didn't self- she just died. Huh. <laughs> I didn't think it was actually gonna happen. Dog, you can just stand there. You can just stand- yeah. Yeah. Alright. That was one of the most boring matches of all time. Uh, second half. Let's go. All right, we got round one, second half. We got Seer, Acro, Patient, Officer up against. We're about to find out with banning Mage, Priz, Portal, and Psychopath. Uh, who is Sibon going to play, I wonder, on this comp? What, what am I saying? It's going to be Opera Ivy. It's Opera Ivy. Especially because Sibon needs a 4K. Uh, on this comp, I would probably say you go with your generic opera, just because kiting-wise, on this map, like, you're, we're gonna see Patient 4th stop for the 5 millionth time, yeah. Can you believe it, guys? A year later, and Patient 4th stop is still the most generic shit people think of. Like, it's still the most baseline thing ever, because it's just Patient 4th stop. It's all mind games. Although, there's the possibility for Ivy, because, you know, Acro and Patient do get countered by Ivy, to an extent, you know... Hook and then you scare, cancels out the thingy, you know, like it's it's so it's a nice fun game. So who will see one play? And it is actually gonna be the IV, so we're gonna have another long match. Yay! Ooh. Long matches. Yeah. Everyone grab your popcorn, grab your protein pastries, your protein bars, your protein shakes, your protein pasta, and your high end protein grilled chicken. Yes, it has to be grilled or it's not gonna be good. And sit, you're behind in a chair or in the living room, put this on your TV or something, if you guys can even do that. I know some TVs, like, just have YouTube built in, but, like, yeah, let's watch. We're gonna be here for another long eye match. Unless someone get, wants to get terror shocked in five seconds, in which then I'll be happy, because <laughs> that'll be funny. It'll be funny, it'll make content, guys, it'll make content. Uh, oh, wow, who would have guessed? Patient 4th stop, and the Officer Cypher Bridge, and Acrobat 2-Story, and, okay, Seer is actually kind of questionable, I'm not gonna lie. Seer in between Godkite and 1st is the only one that's like, okay. Uh, Ivy probably is gonna chase the Patient 4th because you just put Yith, and then after that, the second he tries to hook, you scare, and then it's a free hit, and then you just rinse repeat that because it's only a 5 second deficit in cooldown. Sui builds here, a Windows only patient, tied acro and officer, with then inso detention blink opera. I would have personally brought warp on this map, but he also needs a 4k, so you gotta be aggressive on your chase. You can't really go the pressure route and try to gamble because there is always a gamble with pressuring. You try to pressure, sometimes the survivors know where you're trying to pressure. They communicate these things, and then you end up losing track of what you need. Blink is just, you know, it's instantaneous, you just do it, and then boom, there's your down. Yith is going to be moving towards... He's not going after the patient 4th stop. What the fuck? Why? Going towards... Maybe going to try and then chase the seer? Yeah, Yith is going over towards the seer. He has hunts. Oh my god, every Ivy loves bringing hunts. 
got a first scare in uh at 60 corrosion exactly you should you have like 10 seconds left on your scare for your mate for your yes uh seer is actually just directly looking at him yeah just building up that owl little by little he has one scare though so oh seer up oh, yep 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 and oh owl just came back but you can't get scared off that coaster you can don't try it what oh he was waiting for him to reach a peak Yeah, wait, you can't get scared off the coast? Really? I would. I could have swore you could have. Huh. Well, I didn't know that shit entirely. Haha, <laughs> funny Zeus moment. And don't tell me you're going to chase. No, you're not going to chase the Acro yet. You just want to pressure him off the Cypher. Acrobat, you should be going to Godcat Cypher. Just don't even bother. You should be going to Godcat Cypher. Leave that there. Wait for the tablet to be able to be broken. And a boom. Hmm. Uh, miss, oh, no, I actually did get the scare on the Seer right there. This kite is going on already pretty long. This is why Seer is kind of a soft counter to Ivy. Uh, I'm very shocked that you didn't use the Owl knowing damn well that you were about to get scared. But I guess rebound kite potential is there. Very questionable play, though. For me, at least. This is a, that was a very questionable play. Because it's like, you could have done it. You could have just owled because you know damn well you're going to get scared out of it. And that was about it. Uh, one hit to full. Officer's almost cooked. Oh, why did you blink that? Oh, the officer's going to get a hit anyway. Oh, no. 93. Why did you blink like that? It's an officer. Type of shit? Why would we ever blink like that? That makes no sense, dude actually makes no sense makes me want to like crash out now that 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 actually infuriated me i'm not gonna lie that genuinely got me upset because like why would you do that that makes no fucking sense at all that blink that was just a bad blink like i don't know who you were trying to be owl was used and hit off sears one scare away Still has flywheel available. Cyphers are looking pretty good. Misses the scare on the seer. Seer, you gotta be aggressive now. This is where you be fucking aggressive. Start staring at her. Literally stare at her. Don't give a fuck. Stare at her. Missed the scare again on the power drop. Nice. See, that seer is working his head. You're dead. Yeah, you don't make that. That 10... If you didn't use the owl earlier, he would've. But that 10% vaulting debuff came in. He could've flywheeled right after. No, uh, Cypher's at 30 right now. Um, yeah, this op, this, uh, this Ivy just played bad. Like, she made, she made too many mistakes from wanting to chase a fucking Seer of all things in the beginning of the game to then also, like, do that fucking atrocious blink. Like, that blink is, like, the equivalent of choosing to get Terror Shock. Like, understand that. That blink is the equivalent of the Terror Shock we saw last match. <laughs> like... Oh my god, they're going ban for ban on fuck-ups right now. And, okay, good farm, though. And he doesn't have BT anyway, so they just have to pop it now. Like, you, you just pop it. Yeah. Yith is already setting itself up at fourth, which means now you have no room for... Wow, the fact that he can still get a fucking win from this is absurd to me. That's actually absurdity. The fact that he can still get a win... No, he's getting a draw because the pay the officer went to the Acker's Gate. Okay, it's a draw. But the fact that this is a draw is absurdity to me. Can you can you chair the seer, please? Oh no! Dungeon's right there! Oh! RNG was just on their side! <laughs> Yo, Lady the Luck decided to play favorites! What the fuck? That's crazy. If that was me in that match, Dungeon was going to be all the way at fucking, um, God Kite. <laughs> like, like that, yo, RNG really came in clutch for them, damn. On to the next match. Okay, we got round two, second, uh, first half, apologies. We got round two, first half, and we are looking at Puppet, Priestess, Officer, and Coordinator with a uh, Wax Art. Oh my god, Laddie, Laddie, I love you, buddy, but why do you play Wax Artist? Why? With a batter anti. So why did we play wax and we banned batter and anti? I'm very confused. 
I'm very confused because if that was Pearl, Pearl was going to play just Excitement Wax and then boom, win. GG, easy. Very easy three man. Um, very simple, very demure, very nice, very calm. You know? You you banning Batter Anti and playing Wax Artist isn't very cutesy of you, Wadi. It's not very demure of you. Okay? We like demure over here. We like cutesy. We like fancy. We don't like that trash, that waxy trash. Okay? You know? That's how we do it here. I don't know why I just started to speak like I was a fucking like rich punk. Like one of them like you know like the you know them like like rich boy like um trashy douches in like fucking movies from like the early two thousands. I don't know why I just decided to put that accent on, but it just felt fitting. Anyway, we got we see the L spawn, we got the Tetris block spawn, we got Priestess Big Bull. Wait, I just realized Priestess. My brain didn't even comprehend that. Priestess Big Bull, Officer Middle um what was it coordinator outside a small boat and then the puppet boy at shack we got windows 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 and oh none of them have flywheel oh they're cooked oh none of them have flywheel oh none of them have flywheel none of them have flywheel they're actually kind of cooked i'm not gonna lie none of them have flywheel that's actually really bad that's like very bad actually like the flywheel like would help so much more like, Windows is great for covering the distance, but you can't cover distance against a wax artist, especially on this map, because transitioning on this map is absolute fucking hell. Uh, also, if they knew there was a wax, why did they spawn like this? They spawned with two people in the open. He's willingly going after the priestess in Big Boat. For you people that tell me that put priestess in a broken area and she's still good and nobody will chase her. No, uh, no. These hunters don't care about broken areas. If you're the weakest kiter, they will chase you. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's dead. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. I know you guys can't see it, but I just got him from my chair. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Holy f Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 priestess though, priestess meta though, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I love being right, oh my god, I love knowing what I'm talking about, oh my god, I love being so smart, I love just knowing why these characters don't function in these metas, I love knowing these things, it just, it just, it just makes my brain feel so wrinkly, oh my god, did this nigga, he's gonna get stuffed, he's gonna get stuffed, oh my god, he's not getting the rescue, he's not gonna be able to get it, He's too slow because of the P. They doubled it. She's making a global. Hey, shit, it worked. Ah, uh, global portal. The only value Priestess has. That's ballsy, though. That was good comms on the rescue. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. We saw Priestess's only value, <laughs> along with why she sucks at kiting in this meta. So, yeah, Priestess, good for situations like that, where you have the opportunity to global portal. So, like, the double rescue there, that was Smartington. That was very Smartington. That was very cutesy. However, the Priestess dying in 0 0.2 seconds, that was not very cutesy. <laughs> she fucked it by just going outside of Big Boat from the beginning <laughs> against the Black Starches. Uh, oh, that court is cooked. That court is cooked. Why would you... Sh uh, well, I mean, you trade off, actually. You get two seconds. Yeah, you get two seconds. He does have hot wax, though. Oh, he, he has hot wax. Oh, he has hot wax. Well, this match is going to be entertaining. Hmm. My question is, why did Laddie bring Peepers? Because, like, I still think Laddie's going to win this match, I'm going to be honest. I don't see how he loses this because somebody's going to have to go for the rescue. It's probably going to be the officer. But uh, they're all like, oh my god, you have slow power break. Oh, why do you have slow power break? Uh, oh, this is one of the worst chairs in the game to, cut, to fucking uh, rescue off a of wax artist. GG's. Uh, whoever comes here, it's a guaranteed double hit. I'm just telling you that right now. They don't have a Merc, they don't have a Wildling, so this is just a guaranteed double hit. They, like, I'm not even, like, no joke. This is actually just guaranteed. 
Uh, officer using his watch. There's a catchy going at it. Uh, he is cooked. Laddie, stop burning all of your fucking white stuff and throwing it into the open. Ah, well, Laddie fucked up on that. If he, what he should have done is just throw a pre-wax bomb onto the chair. So that way then when he walks into it, it's just a hit. Or not a hit, but like it freezes and builds up, which makes it easier. Because once Officer touches the chair, that shit goes away. Oh, there are two cyphers remaining. Huh. Oh. You know, they might win this. Because Laddie got too greedy on that officer and didn't check to see if anyone was going to double rescue. That's on him. Shout out to Priestess for being able to make that global, though, on the fly, though. Because that shit takes time, my mans. Oh, it's a Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Oh. Huh, huh. Huh. He just does that. He just does that. And now you just go after the priestess who's down on chair. Just hit the priestess. Yeah, just just hit the fucking priestess. Now go back for the cord. You block that off. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't want to let that puppeteer self heal, though. Like, you kind of want to... Oh, that puppeteer is far from it. Right, because he takes longer to heal anyway. And that's even with the priestess omni-healing buff. So he gets to chair the puppeteer now. And now no one can rescue he also just teleported to the cipher, which is also smart. Um, well, about them winning. They had a comeback chance. It's just the puppeteer going down like that and whatnot. And then having to send a dead on chair pre-injured priestess already. Was very unfortunate. Well, you're cooked. Up, oh, Cola's on for. And Cola's gonna get chaired on an even worse chair. Yeah. The actual worst chair on Lakeside Village. That one on shore is like really bad. This is like really, really bad. Uh, Puppeteer can't rescue this because Hot Wax will just kill him. So that's fun. Cannot rescue. Uh, the Priestess could try and fail miserably. You see the puppet going through it, yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna be so real. If I'm them, I'm just popping the cipher. I'm saying fuck that shit and abandoning the. Oh. You're just, yep. And then you get hit, and you don't make that rescue. Oh, well, you do make it, but why? Oh, well, that was a good immunity, but uh, yeah, that's it. You're cooked. Uh, so yeah, what I'm doing in that situation is um, we are going to uh, set up a global portal. I'm going uh, when the cipher is primed. Then we are going to pop that cipher while the global portal is up, and then while that officer is dying and rotting on that chair, we are just going to take the global portal and fucking leave. Cause uh, that that that's just not that's just not a thing that's gonna happen at all. Like, that rescue is not happening. There's no dungeon. Like, they're, they're cooked. Oh, brother. Wax Artist, you truly are a fun and balanced character. RD is just going to get another 4K. Will they even do a second half? Nice mind game. Nice mind game. Uh, will they even do a second half? Because it's like, this is like not like, the score is like right now 13 to what? 13 to 1? The score is 13 to 1 right now. I believe. Yeah, the score is 13 to 1. So, I don't even know if they're going to do a second half. They probably will just to finish the round, but like, 13 to 1, huh? In a tournament. Jesus, man. Jesus Christ. Anyways, on to the next half. All right, for our final half, probably because GBV needs another four, another four kill. Uh, we got Psych and Balmer Acro Merc up against an IV that banned Coordinator Merchant something something. Uh, I sadly could not see it all just because too fast for my little for for my slow ass eyes to see. 
Um, they banned Hermit because Hermit is a stall out hunter. That's 4k or no k. Uh, like just blatantly, Hermit is either you four kill or you get nothing, practically, and uh, in practice when you do him in a tournament setting. So yeah, they're uh, they're not gonna they're not holding back any stops. They also locked in Embalmer, which is good. Embalmer is really good at just confirming a one escape, which is all they need. All these survivors need right now is just a one escape, and they win, like practically. So they're not doing, they're not going for much. They just want their one escape and that's about it. Uh, and we are seeing Ivy spawning at Cornfield, Psych at Shack, Acro Small Boat, Merc outside Small Boat, and the Embalmer all the way at Big Boat. So again, this is all right. This is all right, Shizzle. Cause I'm a big fight. So yeah. We are seeing Sui build on both the Psych and the Embalmer with then Windows on the Acro and just tied on the Merc with then again into Detention Blink Ivy. Once again on this map I personally would have wanted to bring Warp because it's just so much more versatile. The map is way bigger. And it allows you to pressure more. And right now, you can't really bank on chase to be your win condition. You kind of uh, need map pressure. Because if you have no map pressure, you'll just get Cypher Rush. Then yes, you can get Cypher Rush as an IV if you exert literally no pressure at all. It can happen. It does exist. So yeah, he, uh, he kind of needs to help win off map pressure. Bringing Blink is great for Chase, but Warp would have been way more better in this situation. It's practically a faster Blink if you play it properly. So Blink is really, in my opinion, not the way you want to go. He went straight for the Embalmer. Gonna leech onto him. I guess he wants to get rid of him first because, you know, you don't want Coffin shenanigans endgame. Get rid of that Coffin right now. And he can only Coffin himself once. Could you imagine a world where Embalmer can Coffin himself more than once? That'd be so stupid, man. That would actually be so dumb. Uh, Gets the scare on the Embalmer. Is going to be able to get the hit. Doesn't get the scare. Oh, Embalmer Flywheel is actually out the range of that hit right there. Barely. Just because he wanted to try and do that scare shit. Ah, uh, that's why I don't really like that scare trick. It's cool. You know, the extra 40 corrosion. But uh, when the survivor gets then away from your hit and then keeps kiting and then, you know, now you're delayed on first hit for quite a bit, it's not the greatest thing ever. But again, that's just my opinion. Where people try to come at me for having one of those, yeah. Opinions are, you know, a sin in 2024, entering 2025. Uh, misses the scare on the Embalmer yet again. He should be dead to blink here. Just, uh, you don't need to blink it, yeah. Ooh, a Terror Shock. Ooh, on the cusp of that full presence now. That's actually really good for the Ivy. Very good. Start manipulating that Yith now, please. Please. Oh, you have a tablet over there. You don't need to do that. If he, if he coffins, you have a tablet at the docks. Is he? He is gonna coffin. Okay, beautiful. Yep. Recall. Recall. Thank you. Okay. And now you have your Yith over here. Yeah. This is beautiful. Imagine if they communicated where tablets are. Oh, people gotta start communicating where tablets are so they can start doing shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And gets the see Yith back on the embalming tin. Oh, embalmer, you're so fucked. Oh, uh, man, this guy's getting Cypher rushed. <laughs> Hasn't used Blinked at all, and he might go down. No, he's not, but he got Blinked, and now the Embalmer is down. The, now the Embalmer is dead on chair. Hmm. I'm going to save that for Christmas when Christmas comes around, guys. And uh, I know I kind of just skipped. I know I kind of just skipped over Halloween and Thanksgiving, but uh, it's Christmas. Hmm. Uh, pressuring Cypher is just a bit, but the Cyphers are both above 50%. I'm not gonna lie, this is not looking good for you, buddy. Psych just ate the Corrosion, force-fed the Corrosion. Merc is gonna rescue, like, right about now. It's a double hit! Wait, that's huge! It's a double hit. It's not a double hit. It's not a double hit somehow. Why? Why? Why would you not go for the double hit? 
Why? You're an Ivy. You need it. Why would you not go for... I might, I might shank him. That in GTA, in GTA, in GTA. I might, yo. At least it's no borrowed, but uh, you're still gonna lose this, buddy, because you need a four. And uh, you did not, like, pressure at all. And you went to go chase the embalmer that can manipulate where you have to go. This is why embalmer is such a strong character. Because he took him all the way away from every cipher on one side of the map to die. To then take everyone away. To then take the ivy away again from the ciphers on the other side of the map. There's no way. There's no way the site gets done, Jim. No. Yeah. Figured as much. Well, and that was a four minute round. Well, guys. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, GBB loses. That's it. They're done. They're 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 finito. They're cooked. Finished. Donezo. Get cooked. Scrubs. That was very sad to watch. I'm not going to lie. That was very sad to watch. That was just not fun at all. All right, guys. That's going to be it for the video. Uh, this was just a one-sided massacre. I'm not going to lie. This was uh, very sad to watch. Um, never thought I would get to see a team get 15 and 5 before. But uh, here we are. That was just that was, that was was depressing to watch. I'm not going to lie. And the fact that all these matches are ending in two sets, too. Like, not even hitting to round three. Just straight two. It's like, it's, it's really depressing. But, uh, yeah, Embalmer clutched at that Embalmer. This is why Embalmer is so fucking strong, dude. This is why Embalmer is so strong. Like, people underestimate the power of Embalmer so much. Like, and, but he's just so good. Like, he really is that good, man. But, yeah, with that being said, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you all did enjoy the video. And with that being said, I will catch you all in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. I want to hit 10,000 subs before the end of the year. Peace.